Good morning, John. I'm sleepy, and there's a lot going on, and I'm making this video substantially ahead of time because PodCon is happening this weekend, and I will admit that to a certain extent, not with my personal life, but with the world at large, I've kind of, I've sort of a little bit had it. I am feeling grumpy. And I like to put positive energy out in the world, but also I like to be myself, and I like to experience the emotions that I'm experiencing, and I found in my pocket of this jean jacket questions from when we did Live Dear Hank and John's while on tour. We're gonna do a Live Dear Hank and John at PodCon, so that's gonna be great. What's this? This is just a coaster from my hotel. So I wanted to answer some of these questions. I don't know if we answered them on tour. I don't know why they're in my pocket, but I will say that these are not necessarily the answers that I would give if I were in a good mood. I'm very excited for podcast. I'm very excited to do all the stuff I'm doing in my life, my actual life. A Project for Awesome is coming. My baby is very cute. Everything is good in my personal and professional life, but I don't know if you've heard about the rest of the world. All right, let's do the questions. How can you be supportive when a friend of yours gets a haircut you find really weird? All haircuts are weird. What other organism is like, I'm just gonna, my hair like, grow forever, and it's gonna get, it's like, imagine a zebra out, it's like, galloping along, tripping over its fur. People are so weird. Our hair grows forever, and the only other organisms that do this are freaking domesticated dogs that we bred to have dumb hair. All haircuts are weird. What if, like, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, I want to believe that there's no place like home, but also I don't know exactly where home is, Rachel. Welcome to adulthood. This was from Lindsay who asked, what should I be the signature dish that I bake to impress new friends? Uh, your signature dish, I mean, nachos go in the oven, right? What else do you bake? Bake, bake potatoes. Bake potatoes. Biscuits and gravy. Hot corn dogs. Do you bake corn dogs? You bake, the no, you don't. You fry them. This is from Anthony. My brother spends a lot of time at home alone. I came home to him playing guitar and singing. I didn't know he did either of those things. I spoiled his secret talent. How do I tell him? Don't. Tell him. It's his secret. He wants to be a secret. He wants to let you guys know in his own time. It can be really a lot of pressure at that stage between when you like don't know anything and then you start to get kind of good at stuff. Like, there's this huge gap between okay and good and you don't know about that gap in the beginning. Because like anybody who could do anything with a guitar is magic if you don't know what's going on. I would let him practice in peace. And he says, you're doing very great, sweetie. Thank you. That that helps. This world has a tendency not to be as awesome as it should be. Brothers, would you be willing to support me in becoming the world's dictator? Below that it says, your loyalty will be rewarded. I mean, Dakota, you had me until the end there. As a turtle biologist, I must ask, what is your favorite kind of turtle? Um, I don't, I just realized I made a turtle face when I read that. I like sea turtles a lot. They're really good, especially baby ones. Also, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like Turtle Men, like Dr. Lawrence Turtle Men, our <laughs> least popular thing I've done on Vlogbrothers that maybe ever. When I write, sometimes it feels really stupid and bad writing. When I read it back, it's way better than I thought. But this makes me question my writing. Does this happen to you? Yes! It totally does! The thing to like give credence to is not like in the moment you're thinking about it and you're fixing and breaking and reforming. It's after you have done that, reading it, and how do you feel about that final product, not the terrible mess in between. How will I ever know if I've actually succeeded, Mika? Let me tell you, friend, that, that doesn't happen. You will never know. You will succeed in individual events, but failure will always be just around the corner. So find things that sustain you that aren't, aren't imaginary, like friends. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> Also, hey, John, free domestic shipping at DFTBA.com for the next three days if you order $80 or more. Yeah.